Hello fellow stackers, 365 here, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I wanted to talk to you about the Bank of England and how they've raised their interest rates to 3%. Now this was announced yesterday afternoon and it's the highest it's been in 14 years. Now bearing in mind inflation is still sitting at around 10.8%, it shows that we are truly in a recession. I know some news outlets are still saying that we're not in a recession, however we are 100% in a recession now and you are starting to see more and more kind of government figures announcing and confirming that in fact we are in a recession they've they've given up trying to hide it they've they've kind finally said hang on a minute no no we actually are in a recession so it's nice to see finally getting a bit of honesty however uh, most of the people that watch these sort of videos will already know that we knew that we was in a recession uh, for quite a, a lot longer than uh, it's kind of been announced to the general public so like I said, we're at 10.8% inflation, and that is just absolutely insane. Now, the over in America, they've had similar thing. The Federal Reserve announced the US rates uh, are going to be taken up to 4%. I think they announced that last Wednesday, correct me if I'm wrong. So, obviously, you can see this is a global thing. Every economy is struggling, and it just goes to show that there are major consequences when you just keep printing money and handing out money. Now, when we had the pandemic and money was basically chucked at people, like obviously we're gonna, that's going to have consequences. You can't just keep printing money and giving it away and printing more money and giving it away. It's just insane that no one saw this coming. And the people that did see it coming just tried to hide it from the general public. It's only recently been announced that we're in a recession and they're saying in the UK that they can't see us getting out of this recession until kind of mid-2024. So it was only a couple of months ago that they were trying to tell us that we wasn't in a recession and they were saying everything's fine, we're all okay. But when inflation's over 10%, obviously, like I said, people that are watching my sort of videos have done their own research. They know that that's just a, a load of rubbish. So why I think this will be great for stackers and people that hold precious metals is history normally repeats itself. And as we've seen in the past, when inflation is quite high that's when people rush to precious metals people want to protect their wealth if you had 50 pounds and you put it away in a drawer and you return back to it in 10 years time a hundred percent chance that 50 pounds not going to buy you anywhere near the amount it can today the spending power gets dramatically reduced however the opposite happens with precious metals such as gold and silver you put that away in a drawer for 10 years and you come back to it and it's not going to be dramatically reduced. And even if it is, as as you know, with all types of investments, it goes up and down, up and down. So eventually it will go back up. However, that can't be said with the spending power of the pound and the dollar. Once that goes down, it's not going to go back up. It just keeps going down. So it's going to be really interesting to see the true effect it has on the precious metals market over the next few days and weeks and even months and years, because as more people start to sort of open their eyes and realise how much value their their cash is, is losing every single day, every single month, every single year, it's losing 10% of its value at the moment every single year, which is insane. If you put a £10 note in, in your drawer for, for a year, it's worth 10% less next year. It's just absolutely insane. So, yeah, I just kind of wanted to touch on that. Like I said, they don't reckon we're going to be out of recession until mid-2024. Personally, I see it being a lot longer than that. I can't see how they're going to recover from the amount of money that was printed uh, during the pandemic. It's going to take a lot longer than that. They're going to have to really start pulling back some money. They can't just keep letting this money be in circulation and printing more on top of it because it's just going to continue to get out of control. So... I'll be interested to hear your thoughts in the comments section. Do let me know your thoughts on this. Do you think these raises in interest rates are going to benefit the stacking community? As always, thank you very much for watching my videos and I hope you have a nice day.